Joining me now is a 2008 graduate of the University of Notre Dame who went on to law school, worked for a while as an attorney, and then he decided to make a major career change. Go Wang, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thanks for having me. A lot of people, where do you go from law? You have gone into retailing and clothing design. Yeah, it's a kind of a kind of a big shift, but um, I'm glad I've done it, and uh, yeah, it's definitely been a different lifestyle ever since. Now, a lot of people have already heard about what you're doing, and you got some Sports Center uh, love uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah. So let's get right to we call them props in TV, but let's show one of your signature sure. coats this right is, here. This is kind of something we've kind of become known become known for. Um, on social media, we can do really cool things like custom linings. And being Notre Dame Day, what better one than this dome lining that you know a lot of our guys are wearing right nowadays? Now, where did you get the confidence to jump into the fashion industry? Because you're not just selling things; you're designing them. And I know that means you're also running a business mm -hmm. now, so mm -hmm. you have to sell this stuff in a very competitive business. Right. And, and we like to think of since we do bespoke suits, it's not necessarily me designing the suits; it's more our clients designing the suits. So, for example, when Pat Connaughton comes to me with an idea, whatever he wants to make, we'll make it. So technically, he gets to play designer. We just get to take credit credit for it. And I'm not sure people understand. College students, maybe, we always joke about the best dressed football player on the team, but you know, college teams, a lot of them travel now and mm -hmm. sweats and whatnot. But mm -hmm. at the pro level, mm -hmm. clothing's very important. Yeah, definitely. At uh, the pro level. Definitely. So they, uh, in the pros, they have to travel uh, eight times a year, and they have most teams uh, have a pretty strict dress code for those days. So it's good. It keeps us in business. I know. Lafonso Ellis told me even 20 years ago in NBA locker rooms, there was a competition and you were expected to be in the competition. Oh, yeah. If you weren't dressing up to snuff, yeah. uh, you got ostracized by the other guys. Absolutely. Give me a list of some of the other guys that, that uh, you're providing clothing since, for now. Since, we're, since it's ND Day, we work with a lot of our guys, obviously. Um, from top on down, Harrison Smith, who I think is the best safety in football, Kyle Rudolph, Michael Floyd, Manti. I mean, uh, we'll be dressing Ronnie Stanley in a few days, and we're really excited about what he's going to wear. We can't reveal it yet. It's kind of... We're saving it for Ronnie's big reveal, but it's, pretty, it's something really cool. Again, in addition to athletes, and they're great to have and they're high profile, but what's your demographic group right now that you're aiming at? Uh, we, we, we're here to dress more than just athletes. I mean, a lot of, we, we dress normal people. We would, dress, we would love to dress you. Uh, let's get that in the budget. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're here to dress normal people, uh, lawyers, bankers, wedding season's right around the corner. We do a lot of tuxedos for that. So yeah, this is a good, good time of year for us. All right, so tell me the process, because I'm not going to go in and pick something off the rack. So if right. I come to you, tell me the process. Oh, we're going to get you in. Uh, we take about 35 different measurements. We're going to pick out from 35,000 fabrics, uh, all British and Italian fabrics. And then you get to play designer. So if you want a peak lapel, a notch lapel, if you want to put, you know, dual vent, single vent, whatever you want in your suit, we can make it. And it just goes beyond suits. So if you want custom shoes, uh, we can do jackets. I mean, it's pretty much, you name it, we can make it. Sounds pretty cool. But you and I were talking on the Blue Gold sideline. Now, this is a business, and you're yep. out there scratching right oh, now. Yeah. It's not like you're getting picked up on a Rolls Royce and you're getting million-dollar checks. This is very competitive. How's Absolutely. it going so far? Uh, we're very grateful to be where we're at right now. I started this about three and a half years ago, and, and the recent publicity has been awesome. Um, we're just, I mean, it's day to day, uh, even coming from the attorney side, I definitely get less sleep now, but I mean, it's, it's fun. You're loving it, it. It's fun. I've always had a dream of working with athletes and it's, it's really. We can't wrap this up. We have not given the name of your company yet. Oh, it's ESQ Clothing. All right, we're we had to get that out there. Yeah. Okay. Always All a pleasure right. to speak with Thanks, you. Thanks, Jack. He's around a lot.